If there's one story media editors around the world are keen to continue running with, it's the engagement of Prince Harry to Meghan Markle. Let's look at the basic details of Prince Harry and Meghan. Harry was born on 15 September 1984. Meghan was born on 4 August 1981. Meghan encourages Prince Harry to think more. Harry has a Virgo sun sign, a moon in Taurus, and Capricorn rising. As far as earthiness goes, he's probably as down to earth as anyone could be. His rising Capricorn makes him ambitious and very much a hands on kind of person. In true Capricorn style, he takes his duties and responsibilities very seriously. One interesting fact about Harry's chart is the lack of air sign influence. Air signs are the zodiac's thinkers, innovators, communicators, and educators. They are the signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Harry has Chiron, the planet of healing, in Gemini but his astrological makeup is predominantly earth, fire, and water. He, therefore, benefits from Meghan's air sign influence. Harry could be more of a doer than a thinker. It's possible Meghan encourages him to do lesses and think more at times. Venus and Pluto mean intense passion for Prince Harry and Meghan. Harry's Venus sign is Libra. He is therefore likely drawn romantically toward someone born under the sign of the scales. Libra is ruled by Venus and is a sign that governs beauty and sensuality. Therefore, Harry will have a strong attraction to someone exuding such qualities. His Venus placement conjuncts Meghan's Pluto. To put it mildly, this aspect speaks of potential for intense passion between them. Prince Harry and Meghan understand each other's emotional needs. Meghan is a Leo with a Libra moon sign. With four planets in Libra, she undoubtedly possesses many Libran qualities. Meghan's Venus sign, interestingly and coincidentally, is Harry's sun sign, Virgo. Meghan's Libra moon connects beautifully to his Chiron. Harry's moon connects superbly to her Chiron. This means they have exceptionally powerful, shared healing qualities. Both of them bring varying levels of healing to each other, in many ways. Each has an intuitive understanding of the other's emotional needs. Another interesting feature in Meghan's chart is the fact that her Libran planets reside at the top of Harry's chart, in the 10th house. This sector governs reputation and how the public sees him. He probably feels comfortable having her at his side when seen in public. He is likely keen for them to be seen as an inseparable team, working in tandem. Fortunately, Megan Saturn, the planet of duty and responsibility, resides in Harry's 10th house. This gives her a natural awareness and full understanding of his royal obligations. So far, all appears delightful and positive about their connection. Is there a downside? The Sun Neptune influence. A shared Sun Neptune aspect means Harry can be helpful with Meghan seen in the public eye or spotlight in ways she wants to be. At the same time, Meghan encourages Harry's imaginative or creative side to emerge more often. However, Neptune is, among many things, the planet of illusion. Therefore, much between them could be window dressing. They might not view aspects of each other and their relationship realistically. They could view their bond with rose-tinted glasses or be too quick to put each other on pedestals. The Uranus influence. Astrology textbooks often portray Librans as wishy-washy people who do anything to keep the peace or maintain equilibrium. In truth, many Librans enjoy creating chaos or controversy. This is particularly true when they're bored or weary from tediousness or routine. In Megan's chart, Uranus, the planet of sudden, unexpected events and rebellion, opposes Harry's moon. This makes their relationship turbulent emotionally. They will have to work exceptionally hard to get through the other side of sudden, emotional scenarios powerful enough to break up the strongest relationships. Harry's Uranus forms a tense aspect to Megan's Venus. The planet of sudden change linking in such a way with the planet of love makes their relationship very volatile. It might be exciting or something they're prepared to gloss over in the early stages of their relationship. However, it could be increasingly problematic over time. Uranus's influence also brings unorthodox qualities to their connection. For example, they might appreciate time apart from each other in ways most couples don't or the public will find peculiar. They can encourage certain freedoms in their relationship that might be regarded as unusual or, at times, inappropriate. Harry has unignorable Uranus aspects in his chart. He connects strongly with Meghan's keenness for excitement or to create chaos from time to time. 
There are strong indications that Harry seeks a relationship that is exciting, controversial or the occasional source of gossip. Prince Harry and Meghan must balance harmony with volatility. Meghan has a strong Mars influence in her chart. The planet of energy, impatience, and impetuousness makes her extremely strong-willed at times. She won't hesitate to stand her ground when put in a position to do so. This could make their relationship frustrating and intense. They'll need to learn to balance all that's harmonious with all that's chaotic and volatile between them. So, in summary, there is a wonderful and exceptionally strong connection between Harry and Meghan. However, we can't ignore the Neptune and Uranus influences. This is a relationship that can benefit strongly from both enjoying occasional time apart. Their personal circumstances might make this possible. Engagement, if it happens, will undoubtedly be exciting to begin with. However, the Uranus influence could drain any excitement soon afterward. This is a relationship that doesn't connect well with routine or tradition. It needs spontaneity and an unusual amount of shared freedom. Together, they can overcome this disruptive influence. However, they'll need to be determined to channel Uranus's troublesome influence in ways that can strengthen rather than impair their bond. If they can do that, then this relationship truly is an exceptional one that could stand the test of time.